Agriculture as a key sector in ASEAN has great potential to contribute in realizing sustainable development, including addressing poverty and inequality in the region. As the agriculture sector continues to significantly contribute to employment in the region, its relevance and importance were underlined when COVID-19 threatened food security, livelihoods, and expose the vulnerability of dependence on global agri-food systems. Those affected in a major way by the overall impact of COVID-19 in the region include the women and men small-scale producers. Women play an important role in agriculture and agricultural value chains in ASEAN, with 48 to 75 percent of employed women working in the sector in Cambodia, Myanmar, Lao PDR and Vietnam. In fact, official statistics show that more than one-third of ASEAN workers in agriculture are women. Unfortunately, this is usually part of their unpaid family labor or they are usually paid less than their male counterparts. When women are engaged, their participation is often limited or constrained by unpaid care and domestic work and other barriers such as limited access to resources, services, and other representation in producers' groups. Even in land ownership, only 13% of agricultural land title holders in ASEAN are women, resulting in more gaps including inaccessibility of credit among women. Even though women and small-scale producers are the pillars of the agriculture sector, Poverty has remained significantly higher among them and is expected to increase with COVID-19. Existing studies on agricultural value chain intervention in the region have revealed mixed results in terms of outcomes for small-scale producers. There are investments already made by ASEAN member states in promoting inclusive agribusinesses. However, these past studies characterize these efforts as disjointed and not directed at key constraints that impact women and men small-scale producers. In 2015, the Institute for Social Entrepreneurship in Asia or ISEA studied eight best practices among social enterprises and inclusive business models in agricultural value chains in Indonesia, the Philippines, Thailand, and Vietnam. These models were considered as best practices because of their significant impact in improving the lives, livelihoods, and position of small-scale producers in their respective supply chains. The factors of success from these best practices were synthesized into a set of benchmarks for transformational partnerships and women's economic empowerment in agricultural value chains, or benchmarks. As an aspirational standard for small and medium enterprises, corporate agribusinesses, as well as agricultural value chain program holders and supporters, to refer to in aspiring to contribute to the realization of the sustainable development goals that will positively impact on marginal and small-scale producers, especially women. It is in this context that the proposed guidelines on transformational partnerships and women's economic empowerment in agricultural value chains or the transformational ABC guidelines are being promoted to address issues and challenges of women and men small-scale producers engaged in agricultural value chains and supportive to the practice of the benchmarks. The transformational ABC guidelines are a set of policies, incentives, and support programs that can provide an enabling environment and ecosystem to encourage and promote the practice of transformational partnerships and women's economic empowerment in agricultural value chains. It hopes to significantly and positively impact on the lives and livelihoods of the women and men small-scale producers in ASEAN. The transformational ABC guidelines ask ASEAN and ASEAN member states to consider First, enabling innovations that support agricultural value chain development for food-secure, resilient, 
and empowered small-scale producer communities. Second, enabling women's economic empowerment spanning all functions and organizations engaged in ABC development, management, and governance. Third, mobilizing investments on sustainable consumption and production systems that enable women and men small-scale producers as stakeholders in achieving a climate-resilient and green economy. Fourth, recognizing and supporting social enterprises and inclusive businesses as innovators and key enablers of women and men small-scale producers in agricultural value chains. And finally, mobilizing support for social innovation platforms that mainstream sustainable agriculture, transformational partnerships, and women's economic empowerment in AVCs toward measurable social impact and accelerating the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. The transformational ABC guidelines are voluntary. It is designed to enhance and complement relevant ASEAN policies, approaches, and other guidelines. The ASEAN and ASEAN member states are enjoined to adopt and consider the proposed actions and recommendations as we recover from the pandemic and build back fairer. For more information on the transformational ABC guidelines, Log on to ISEA's official website.